In this video, I will feature my entire handbag collection. I will not include those bags that will be leaving my collection. I will feature those bags in a separate video, whether those bags will be leaving my collection or whether I'm strongly thinking about those bags leaving my collection. They will not be included in this entire handbag collection video because I have a rather large handbag collection and I wanna to try to make this video as short and as brief as possible. And the purpose of this video is just to give you an overview of the types of handbags that are in my collection. And also give you an overview of various handbags that may give you some ideas as well for bags that you may be thinking about purchasing. Some of these bags you can probably still get on the websites but for the most part, most of them will probably be purchased pre-love. If you like this type of content, please like, comment, and subscribe. And please share the video with those who you know will enjoy the content as well. Okay, you guys, let's get into it. Okay. I will start with my handbag shelf and I will take bags from the top. We will start with the totes and I will work my way throughout the bags. Like I said, I'm just gonna give you an overview of the bags and just tell you why they're in my collection briefly and we're gonna move on. So let's get into it. So this is the Active by Simone's Essential Tote. And I did purchase this one twice because I really love this bag so much. I use it for a work tote. It is the perfect size. As you can see, this is the newer one, my the one that I use every day. Uh, I anticipated that it may break down, so I was going to just change it out with this one, but I have washed it multiple times and it has not broken down. Now, it's not no fancy kind of bag. It's not the type of bag that you would want to dress up and carry around. But if you're going to work just casually on an everyday basis, this bag right here is thick and sturdy and durable. It is such a nice carry. If you would like more details on the Computos Active by Simone Essential Tote, please, I do have a video on my channel. If you will review that video, you can get more information about this bag. Again, this is the Caboodles Active by Simone Essential Tote. This is my denim tote. This was just recently in the Coach Denim Drop. It does come with a crossbody strap, but it is very, very comfortable to carry as a tote. And it does have feet, you guys. Love this tote. Love it. And it does work for me as a work bag. So, and so when I saw the feet on the bag that sold me, of course, I've also accented it with the bag charm that was also in the 2022 denim drop collection. This is a part, this was part of the Coach denim drop collection. Okay. And so since I don't have a tote that's all denim all over like this, I went on and I purchased it. Okay. My vintage coach tote. Don't remember the exact name of this one, but I enjoy it as well. It does not come with a crossbody strap, but it is so comfortable to carry. I purchased this one on last year. I love this tote. I enjoy having it in my collection. It is in my favorite color to wear lime green and it will stay in my collection. This is a well-made tote. I just need to see if it's going to work for me as a work tote. And I will probably spray it with some Apple Guard just to make sure that it maintains its color. This is my Vintage Coach tote. And in fact, this is my only Vintage Coach tote. And I'm just so grateful to have this one in my collection and hopefully can, it can work for me for work as well. This is a fossil handbag that I have in my collection. It's pretty much the size of a tote. If you carry it long way this way, you can lap it over. You can also carry it this way. It does have a detachable canvas shoulder strap. So, and then it has a zipper on the top here. And this is the strap that goes with it. It's an amazing bag. I enjoy it. And you can see right here, 
when I wash it and clean it, it had a spot on it. And that's where I got that from. I tried to, I over cleaned it and tried to get the spot off. Should have left it alone. But you know what? I mostly carry it flapped over like this with the strap on it. So I don't need to worry about that all that much. But you can carry this, you know, as a handle like that. It's got a short handle on it. Or you can get the crossbody strap and you can carry it with the crossbody strap. This is a crossbody strap that it comes with. Very thick, heavy, sturdy strap. And although this bag does have wear, I will keep it in my collection for now. I do enjoy it. So this is the strap to it. It's well made, well built, thick and sturdy. And just love this bag. I actually wore it and wore it and wore it. This was back in my days when I would actually wear my bags an awful lot before I would buy I would buy one bag at a time wear them an awful lot okay so I'm not sure what the name of this one is if anybody knows the name of it please let me know if you know the name of this bag okay but it's an excellent excellent bag this is my Patricia Nash tote actually it's one of my least used totes in my collection but I do love it as well. It is also my only brown tote in my collection. I don't have a whole lot of totes in my collection, but I do like to have some for work purposes every now and then. I like to change out of these totes. This one is rather thin, so the capacity is not as large as a couple of my other totes, specifically my Active by Simone's Essential Tote, but it is a dust bags in there. It also comes with a shoulder and crossbody strap, but it has a zipper pouch in the inside. And then it also has two pouches here as well. So love this tote. And then you have the double zipper there. You can go to one side or you can just go to the center there, but it is an excellent choice. This is the last tote in my collection. This is my Portland Leather Goods essential tote i do love it it is made out of full grain leather it does have a zipper in there as you can see i just wish that it wasn't uh just attached on one side it would give me a little more flexibility better yet i would have liked to seen this seal all the way over that's just my preference than this type of zipper right here but this is by portland leather goods and when this bag first came out with the zipper attachment i got it a few years ago i think it was like in 2019 somewhere in there maybe 2020 one of those years but anyway uh when it came out it does come with a crossbody strap as well too i guess you guys can start to see a pattern here i have a tendency because you would attach it on the d-rings on each side in here you can see i have a tendency to like the bags the totes and the bags with the crossbody straps. Okay, so got a great capacity. There's the crossbody strap down in there. This is the Portland Leather Goods Essential Tote. Love it, love it, love it. I did add, this is just a <laughs> coat chain tag I added on there just to have something on there. Okay, we will now get into the handbags. And this is, I want to say this is the Legacy Shoulder Flat Bag. But this bag uh, got to coordinate with the lime green tote that I just showed earlier in this video. And I I love this bag. Of course, I once again, I have not worn it because I just enjoy, uh, I want to make sure I can protect it from color transfer so i hadn't had the opportunity yet to scotch guard it so because of that it has kind of sat on my shelf for that reason glad i got it in my collection so here it is and then for me because i'm short it also looks good as a crossbody okay let me go ahead and show you this piece I also purchased this pre-love as well. I did dunk it and clean it, but it was already in brand new condition when I received it. 
it is a little wristlet and you can of course carry it as a bag too that's why i'm featuring it because you can carry it as a small handbag if you chose to do that but in, i like this one so much as well it is all suede of course so you have to really take care of it can't wait to carry this as and mostly with my with my little small bag such as this i use it as a catch-all for my larger bags so this is my Bronum handbag i love this soap it has feet any bag with feet i am always going to be a fan of as long as it works for me and i can carry it Okay. It does have a shoulder strap, of course, detachable. That's one of my top features, not one of my top features for safety, but it's one of the top features that I like personally in the bag and, of course, feet. Uh, detachable straps. And then, of course, you can see there's a zipper. It zips all the way around. Love the capacity on this bag. Love the organization on this bag. The pockets slip pockets, zipper pockets, slip pockets, love it, another zipper pocket, uh, wonderful bag, enjoy having it in my collection, this is a Coach Cassie bag in the color chalk, doesn't have feet, but with the style of the bag, they probably could have put some here, but it might have changed the look of the bag, so I'm okay with this one not having feet. Because most of the time it's on all I don't put it down, it's on me as a crossbody when I carry these. Love this bag. Just love the capacity on it. Love the style of it. Love the organization of it. It does come with a crossbody shoulder strap as well. Zipper compartment on the inside. Slip pocket on this side. Coach Cassie. And I also have this in two other colors. I will show you those briefly as well. This is the signature Cassie. Actually, uh, I really didn't purchase a whole lot of signature bags. You'll see another one coming up shortly. But when I saw this one and the one that you'll see next, it's like, oh, that's that looks good. That's cute. This, this is done well. This is done very elegantly. Love it. Love it, love it, love it my coach Cassie and that's the wallet of course I got the match but I'll show you that in my upcoming SLG video this is my coach Cassie in the signature collection and also in the color ox blood got a good price on all three of these I'm surprised I called them before they got discontinued they are awesome love this bag also comes with a crossbody strap i do have a video on my coach cassie i have a review of this bag if you're interested you please look at the video on my channel content with candace love this bag coach cassie this is a coach rogue also in the color ox blood comes with a shoulder strap and a crossbody strap this is the Coach Road 25 in the gunmetal hardware. Beautiful bag. Love this bag. Does the strap is inside. Also paired it with a, I did purchase this one pretty love. It was in very clean, brand new condition. Of course, I sanitized it as well when I got it. You can tell, I don't think the only, previous only ever used bag, to be honest with you. It had all the papers and everything. <laughs> so, there you go. I put that on the inside to keep from losing it. Okay. But this is the Coach Cassie. And then I also have two more. Color Taffy. This may be my next carry, actually. For now, and of course, they all have feet. I know these will stay in my collection. They will not be leaving my collection. Okay, there's a tag to it. I'll be using these. And this one on the inside. 
one of the newer versions that I got off of one of the websites. I can't remember which one right now. I, I did get a discount on this one. I do remember that one. Okay. Had the little snap pocket on the inside, nothing on the other side. And the newer versions, they kind of cut out the dual slip pocket and the zipper pocket component. Zipper is thick and extra sturdy. It does come with a crossbody, and this one comes with a shoulder strap. Let me show you that if you're interested. In the review of this bag, there's a thick shoulder strap. Please watch my channel, and there's a review of this bag on my channel. Here's my last Coach Road 25. Well made with feet. Also thick, sturdy, pebbled leather. Thick coach hang tag. It does come with a crossbody strap. Very nice. And I generally don't purchase multiples of bags. And when I purchase a multiples of, of bags, that means I really, really like them. So I did purchase multiples of the Coach Road 25 and the Coach Cassie. Once again, I do have a review of this bag on my channel. If you're interested, please watch the video. This is my only gray handbag in my collection. It is in metallic gray, of course, but I adore this bag. I will wear, I will wear it year round, you guys. I love this bag. It is so well made. So well made. This is the capacity and it holds a lot more than you think. It does come with a crossbody strap as well. I do have a review of this bag on my channel. So if you're interested, please look at the video on my channel. Hexagonal crossbody from the John Michelle Basquiat collection. I do have a video of this bag on my channel, content with Candace. So if you're interested, please review the video on my channel. This bag does come with a crossbody strap. Love this little bag. This is one of my bags that I use a travel bag to travel with. There's a little crossbody strap. Okay, so if you have want more details, watch the watch the video on my channel. Oh, another one of my coach bags with feet. I love feet. This one also comes with a crossbody strap and a shoulder strap. Well the crossbody strap and the shoulder bag Show, the crossbody strap and the shoulder strap is all in one. It's adjustable and it's detachable. That's why it's not on the bag right now. I have it inside the bag. So if you like this bag and you were interested in more details on this bag, please watch my channel content with Candace. I do have a review of this bag on my channel. This is one of my vintage coach purchases. I purchased this in immaculate, immaculate condition. Dumped it and cleaned it. And it is a perfect capacity for holding all of my needs. The strap is not detachable. And I have thought over and over again about getting a cobbler or someone to attach, to detach this and attach D rings to it. And it is in matte condition. I love it. It is a beautiful bag. Well, now it will stay in my collection. Love it. This bag actually came with the paperwork. Coach booklet, all of that came with everything. And I know a lot of people probably shied away from, I can imagine the original one probably didn't use it that much. It looked like it had just sat on the shelf, to be honest with you. So, of course, I snatched this one up. It will always stay in my collection. Love it. Oh, one more thing about this bag. I have not carried it but one time but i am going to carry it more now that it's hot and summery because i just want to treat it first to make sure i don't have any color transfer on it i don't have a lot of lighter color bags in my collection actually i have two that i can see and recall right now actually three with the lime green tote well four with the lime green tote and the vintage coach legacy flap but um i do want to 
make sure I treat it with some kind of apple guard, scotch guard, something to keep it from getting color transfer on it. Now this is another bag that I bought pre-loved and this one is lined. I know you're not supposed to dunk and clean. It does come with a shoulder and crossbody strap. You use it for a shoulder bag or crossbody strap bag. And But I did dunk it and clean it and it looks perfectly perfect. Brand new bag when I cleaned it. But uh, it is in excellent condition. Love it. I'm going to try to push to wear this one. Have not worn it, but it's not leaving my collection, you guys. Because it's I really believe in saying what I say on my channel. If you haven't seen my bag talk series yet on my channel, go ahead and watch that series as well. I get into some things that gets pretty interesting. Talk about handbag features on one of the series. Okay, but love this little bag. I think it's gonna work for me. But of course, this is one of the ones I bought because of the color and it was cute. This is the Nolita 19 that was in the denim drop collection. I have used this quite a bit. I have used this with the tote that matches this that I just showed you at the beginning of this video. I've also used this with my YSL denim puffer as a catch-all. So this, this has come in very handy. It does get used quite a bit. So I really enjoy having this in my collection. Cute little bag. Of course, it can serve as a mini bag. You can also attach a chain here and here and make it a shoulder bag as well. I do have a video on my channel on this, so if you're interested in more information, watch the video on my channel. This is my Coach Court bag. My vintage Coach Court bag, actually. Um, I was so excited to receive this one. I did pay a little more for this one. Cause it's in navy blue and the condition it was just in very clean condition it does come with a crossbody shoulder strap this one will stay in my collection as well so the way i'm thinking right now it is a gorgeous bag i do have a video on my channel content with candace if you're interested in more information about this bag please watch the video on my channel this is the Vintage Coach Court Bag. This is my YSL Denim Puffer Bag. It's the bag I'm currently carrying right now. Very thick and sturdy hardware. I do have a video on my channel, Content with Candace. If you're interested in more information, there is an unboxing video on my channel. Please watch the video. And I will do a follow-up video on this bag in the future. I just like to try it out and see how I like it. So anytime I buy a new bag, it goes through a process of try trying it out for a while. And I do have a tendency to show them and wear them more. But that doesn't mean I don't like any of the other bags in my collection. I just want to see how it's going to hold up and how it's going to wear. You know, I, I can't find that information out unless I actually wear the bag. So this is my YSL denim puffer. This is the only bum bag. This is my coach bum bag that I have in my collection. I do have a video on my channel on this one. And I do love it because it has a bunch of colors on it. This is, of course, from prior collection. It has been discontinued, though. Uh, they do have a different version uh, of this bag. So this was the version that was... I think this right here, I want to say I got this off the Coach website before they no longer carried it on the Coach website. I got it this year, uh, and I actually bought it as a travel bag, and I did put it to use on vacation. So it worked out well for me. Now, it is a big bag, so if you don't like big bum or belt bags, then, of course, this one wouldn't be for you. If you are interested in more information on this bag, please watch my channel content with Candace, you will find a video on this bag to give you more details on this bag. Got another Nolita 15 in orange. Like I said, I do have a video on my channel on the Nolita 15 in this color, but I also have a video 
on review. It's the same as the denim version. Same, same, same item. This is the Jess Croft body. Excellent bag. I like the bigger crossbody bag. It's not that big. It's not too big. It's not too small. But it's not. It's kind of compact. But it holds a whole lot. So that's what I like about it. There is a video on my channel content with Candace. Of course, it does come with an attachable strap as well. Please watch the video on my channel if you're interested in more information. This here is the Coach Lunch Pail Re-Edition. Does come with a crossbody strap. There is a video on my channel on this bag as well. If you're interested in more information, please watch that video. I do use this one as a travel bag and it worked very well. Love it. Coach Launch Pail Re-Edition. This is my vintage coach bag. As you can see, I have a habit of storing the straps inside my bags. I think I featured this bag in my red handbag collection video. So it is there is a video on my channel on this bag as well. And this is the strap. And love this bag. This bag will stay in my collection for now. Can for me. Well, I put it on the last setting. Of course, it does work as a crossbody. And then I can put it on shorter settings for a shoulder bag. Or I can leave it on longer settings such as I have it here. It does have a thick, sturdy dip zipper on it as well. Okay. This is my little Bronham handbag. It does have a strap on the inside as well. It came with a strap. Well, actually, it came with a wristlet. But I mostly use this one as a catch-all inside of my Burnham handbag. But, of course, you can carry it as a wristlet. It's a big wristlet, too. Mostly use it as a catch-all. Okay. I brought a handbag that I was referring to. As you can see, it has feet. This is the Anywhere Convertible in a Color Carnation Melbourne. Love this bag. Does come with a side slip pocket. Love my slip pocket bags. And also has some slip pockets on the inside as well as a zipper pocket. I do have a video on my channel featuring this bag. It does come with a crossbody strap. If you're interested, and looking at a review of this bag, please watch my channel. There's a video on it. So glad to get this one in my collection. Love this bag. There's a video. I know it's featured in my red handbag collection. And I think I have it featured on another video in my channel, Content with Candace. It does come with a shoulder strap. But it also, because I'm short, I can also wear this one as a crossbody strap as well. Okay. Very comfortable bag. This is when they, I guess, switched over. Coach had switched over to not having the thick, thicker vintage Coach full grain leather. This is more like a, looks like a genuine leather to me. But it's a very comfortable bag. And I really enjoy the having this in my collection. If you're interested in more information on this bag, please watch the videos on my channel. This is the newest bag to my collection. It's Louis Vuitton Victoire. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. If you're interested in more information on this video, this bag, please watch the video on my channel, Content with Candace. It does have a, it's a unique closure. This is the first time I ever bought a closure like that. But it does have a pocket here but i don't really use it for my cell phone because it's kind of narrow and then it has a compartment here and a compartment here love this bag it's 
my Coach Rambler handbag. I did feature this on my Least Shoes handbag collection, but that's why I talk about on my channel how you should always wear the bag, carry the bag, because you don't know what you like until you carry it. It's very important. It's in the color brown, of course. Love the bag. Coach Rambler. Here's my other coach bag. You can see I do have a little wear on this one because this is back in the days when I buy one bag at a time, wear it until it kind of wore it out a little bit, and then I would buy another bag. That was my budget at that time, and there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, I added this tag to it, of course. Love this bag. And it does come with a strap as well. The strap is non-detachable. It looks like it's detachable because I have it stored inside the bag there. Okay, but it is attachable. And this is the Coach Small Paxson Duffel Bag. Portland Leather Goods Butterfly Bucket Bag in the color Doom. I do have a video on my channel, Content with Candace, on this bag. So if you're interested, please watch that video. It's the Butterfly Bucket Bag in the color Doom. I do wish they had to put feet on this one. But it is the full grain leather. It has the raw edge on it. Interested in more information, please watch that video. Here's my other vintage coach bag. Have not worn this one. I do have a strap stored on the inside. I do plan on wearing it this summer. I think I featured this one in my lease use handbag collection video. If you're interested in that, please watch it on my channel. And this is one of my favorite. So glad I got it in my collection because it has feet. It does have an outside slip pocket. Love this bag. It does come with a shoulder strap. And for me, because I'm short, it does also serve as a crossbody strap. Okay. Love this bag. I believe I have a video on my channel specifically featuring this bag as well. Please watch my channel. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. Thank you. And this is the Remy Cross Body. The bottom Remy Cross Body. Does come with a shoulder strap. Purchased the wallet there. I do have it stored inside the bag. Seems to store better with the with it open instead of closing it. So that's just how I store it. This bag definitely meets my needs. I do have a video on my channel, content with Candace, showing this bag. So if you're interested in more information, please watch the video. And this is my coach. For some reason, I can't remember right now the name of this one. But it is still being featured on the Coach Outlet website. This is an outlet bag. And it, the strap, unfortunately, is not detachable. I do have it stored inside the bag, but it's not detachable. But I do still love it. It's a very thick and sturdy canvas. Love this bag. Got the hang tag stored on the inside here as well. This is my first purchase. I purchased this with the uh, signature C print. This is my first purchase. And this made me purchase a few other items. I don't have a large signature C collection in my collection because I really prefer full leather bags. And so that's why 
but this right here made me love the signature cc print because of the look of it this is my ysl medium lulu and it's in the color noir or black thick sturdy construction very well made i do have a video a couple of videos on my channel content with candace on this bag if you're interested please watch the video love this bag as you can see i have another no liter 15 in the color black love my no liter 15 they are awesome the leather is soft and great quality love it this is my camera blag i've had this one a few years they still carry the just cross bodies these are the can't just camera bags but anyway i'll put the right title on the video love this bag perfect got the double zip organization another coach rambler in the color black For some reason this leather is a little different from the other one probably depends on the country it was made in i love this bag it does come with a crossbody strap of course just like the other one coach marley Got this from the Coach Outlet website last year. They had some signature CC versions of it. And when I saw this black pedal level version and it had a very good price on it, I went on and snatched it up. It does come with a crossbody strap. I do have a video on my channel on this video on this bag. Please watch the video. This is one of my earlier fossil handbags. I did include it in my entire collection because I decided it's gonna stay in my collection because it brings back a lot of memories. I will probably pull it out on occasion and wear it. As you can see, it's, it's been greatly loved. The zipper pull is worn down because this is one of my favorites when I carried it back in the day. And I did clean up my zipper last year. I think I dumped this one and cleaned it up, but I will be carrying it in the fall probably on occasions love this bag it does come with a crossbody shoulder strap and since i don't think i got a video i may have featured this in my leash use or i probably did not feature it because it's a very it's an older bag one of my earlier versions of the bag i wish i could get this repaired if anybody know about fossil handbag repairs type a comment in the comment box and let me know okay this is my portland leather goods mini tote it's a mini tote but it does hold a lot comes with a crossbody strap you guys has a uh, d-ring hooks on the inside there preference would have been to have it zip on the top but it a cute little bag as long as you keep it closed and you don't make any sudden stops when you're driving all your stuff will end up in the floor of the car but it is very well made in the color um i can't remember what the color called but it's that dark brown color Love this bag. Portland Leather Goods. Many tote. And this is one of my bags that I bought years ago. And I haven't worn it a lot, but I do love it. So it's still going to stay in my collection. I do wish they had to put feet on this bag. So... There's a video on my channel, Content with Candace, if you're interested in finding out more about this bag. Hang in there, you guys. I have one more roll of bags, and I think we'll be done. This is 
my John Michelle Basquiat Canteen Crossbody. I just recently used this one. Like I said, my small bags are for my travel bags. I do have a video on my channel, Content with Candace, on this bag. It does come with a crossbody strap, of course. If you're interested in finding more information, please watch the video on my channel. This is the Coach Basic bag. It does come with a crossbody strap. And it also has a wristlet strap attached to it. Holds more than you think. Coach Basic handbag. This is a Coach Sudden bag. I have not worn this bag yet because I am going to in the future, do a video on this bag, showing it going through the cleaning process again. I see some places on the zipper. I did dunk and clean it. And I see some places on the zipper that I want to work on some more. Just to make sure it is in immaculate condition. So I am going to redo this one. So I have not worn it at all because of that. And of course, it does not have a detachable strap. I have also thought about detaching the strap as well. So, this is called the Coach Sutton, Coach Sutton, Vintage Coach Sutton Handbag. This one is called the Brooklyn Carry All. This bag will always be in my collection. I love a bag with great organizational components. As you can see, three outside zippers. I can separate things. And then also has pockets. I mean, this bag has everything. It has everything, you guys. Feet, whole nine yards. Love this bag. Haven't worn it in a while. I think I wore it in the fall last year, but it's black. So oftentimes, some of my black bags, I have a tendency to leave them for fall wear. But I do love the bag. It does come with a crossbody strap. If you're interested in finding out more information about this bag, please watch the video on my channel, Content with Candace. This is my Patricia Legacy handbag. I do store my strap inside, of course. It does come with a shoulder bag strap. I do have a video on my channel on this bag, Content with Candace. Got a pocket back here, pocket on the front and the back. Love it. If you're interested in this bag, please watch the video on my channel. Very soft leather. Love this bag. So glad to have it in my collection. This is the Coach Willis handbag. It's the ones that were made in China after they started making them in the made in China bag versions. Coach Willis handbag. Enjoy having this one in my collection. Love this bag. I do have a video on my channel, Content with Candace. If you're interested in more information on this bag, and this is my other fossil handbag, one of my earlier versions. Okay. Front does have a phone flip pocket. You can phone long ways in there has definitely been worn you starting to see a pattern of my preference of zipper zipper handbags and totes love this bag it does come with a crossbody strap love to get this repaired if i could but it will stay in my collection this is one of my earlier coach handbags I want to say it was the first bag that I purchased. Maybe it was the second bag that I purchased. I can't remember. But, yes. I went through this dunking and cleaning process on it last year. It does have a zipper on the top there. I do have a video on my channel. Content with Candace. If you are interested, please watch the video. I do know for sure it is featured in my entire black handbag collection video. One of my favorite vintage coach handbags. 
I do have a video on my channel. It's one of my earlier videos, actually. May not be the best, so just want to warn you. It is featured on my channel, Content with Candace. The leather is just so soft and subtle. It does have an outside slip pocket. And I do this just the way I store it. I store the handle inside the bag. If you're interested in more information on this bag, please watch the video on my channel. Purchases at a thrift shop. When I purchased it, it looked like it was in brand new condition. I paid five bucks for this bag, you guys. Five bucks. I had this one, I didn't have this one stored on my shelf, so that's why I almost forgot about this denim bag. I don't even know what brand it is. Not sure if somebody made it or what. But um I did wash it. I washed it, you guys, and hung it to dry. I mean literally put it in my wash machine. I didn't see a branded name on it or anything. Love it. Have I worn it yet? No. But I can see myself if I was going to be doing a lot of outdoors see kind of things. Because this bag is just so light and comfortable to carry. I can see myself carrying this bag. If I was going to be outside a lot, all day, something like that. I mean, it's just so carefree. So, I enjoy this bag. I enjoy having it in my collection. Hopefully, I'll carry it one day. My uh, denim bag. I do have a library of videos on my channel. If you're interested, please go ahead and watch those videos as well. A lot of the handbags that I have featured in this video are featured on my channel in some form. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.